Hi, today I'll be doing a two day review on VT Cosmetics Zika Redness Cover Cushion. The first day I'll just be testing the cushion on its own, and the second day I'll be testing the cushion on a full face. The cushion claims to give a smooth and radiant complexion with weightless and powerful coverage with a semi matte finish. The main ingredients is VT Cicala, which is made up of Centella Asiatica extract, green propolis extract, and the Centella 4X complex. So lots of skin calming and soothing ingredients. In saying that, the cushion is suitable for sensitive skin. around the cushion which is their green calm base that contains their Cicalau and helps tone up redness. My first impression was that the cushion applied really easily and it made my skin look smooth. It did well with my combo dry skin and only slightly emphasized on dry areas. It's semi-matte, but more leaning towards the hydrating side. This is me checking in a few hours later. The cushion was looking pretty good and only bunched up around my glasses, which is normal. Other than that, it basically looked the same. Hi, so I'm not sure if I'm making this video a voiceover yet, but just checking in, I quite like it. Like, it's kind of all gone on my nose, but it's, it's kind of melted off really nicely. And like, it's creased a little bit in my smile lines, but that's actually not too bad, especially because my smile lines tend to crease pretty often. And it's exactly the same on my forehead it's a little bit shiny but honestly not not that shiny so but yeah it's really good i might check in in a few hours for the conclusion but yeah pretty good this is the end of day one the cushion has completely worn off my nose but it faded really nicely the rest of my face is looking pretty decent as well I applied my full face of makeup with the cushion, so with primer and setting powder. Again, the cushion applied really easily and smoothly on my skin. I really liked how I made my skin look.
is applied really nicely on top and as you can see it's more matte today because I applied a setting powder. A few hours later it's looking good still. It rarely moves when my glass is sat compared to day one, so using a setting powder would definitely help the longevity of the cushion. It's slightly creased in my smile lines, but no biggie. This is at the end of the day and the cushion has started to break down around my entire face and I'm looking pretty dewy, but my forehead is still magically looking good. Overall, I really enjoyed using this cushion. It makes the skin look really smooth and it has pretty decent longevity. If you have an oily t-zone, I recommend setting it, but if you have dry skin, you almost don't have to set it with powder. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review and found it helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.